other band you'll go to great lengths to get to that gig. For online ticket touts, it's big business. The internet, a marketplace for buying and reselling. But now new laws are being introduced to try and stop touts, ripping off fans, going to music and sports events. For music fans like Renfrey Deadman, being ripped off is sadly a reality. The excitement of going to the concert was hugely diminished by the fact that I paid way over the odds and I paid someone who has nothing to do with the actual art of it or putting on the concert. I just paid someone who was making a silly amount of money for doing absolutely nothing really, just buying a ticket and then selling it on at a grossly over-exaggerated price. So how will the new laws stop fans losing out? Well, resellers will have to display the original price of the tickets, as well as the seat numbers, currently not legally required, with those breaking the law facing fines of up to £5,000. But critics say this doesn't go far enough. I think it's a great first step for legislation. However, it doesn't go far enough because there are still no independent checks that tickets listed on these platforms actually exist and fraud is still possible. We are still seeing fraud increasing. I would like to see a criminal investigation into the relationship between these big marketplaces and ticket touts criminally harvesting literally hundreds of thousands of tickets every year. will be too late for fans of Fleetwood Mac. Tomorrow is the start of their much-hyped comeback tour. Some tickets were originally £50, but today we found some being sold online for more than £1,000. Music fans like Renfrey will be hoping in future the tables may turn and ticket touts will be the ones losing out. Minnie Stevenson, 5 News.